Hi! Welcome to Cooking Simply Delicious. This leche flan, caramel custard or cream caramel, a truly simple and delicious dessert. It's creamy, it's smooth, it's sweet, and it's so delicious. How to make leche flan In a small pan, combine the sugar and water and heat until golden brown and thick. I added 1 fourth cup of sugar and also 2 tablespoons of water. Keeping a close watch, occasionally swirl the pan to make sure the caramel cooks evenly. Then, pour the caramel into a baking pan and tilt the pan to coat the bottom. The pan gets hot so be careful! Set aside, and meanwhile, let's make the custard. The history behind this dessert art can be seen during the Spanish era wherein the Spaniards colonized the Philippines for 300 years. During that time, the Spaniards made use of eggs, especially the egg whites, as a binder for the walls of the different churches in the Philippines. As a result of these egg yolks are being left and with that, they made use it as an ingredient with the different dishes that they made at that time and one of this is the leche flan. Oops, let's go back to our leche flan custard. 12 egg yolks and 1 cup of condensed milk and 1 cup of evaporated milk. Gently whisk together until smooth, making sure not to create a foam. Slowly stir until they are fully incorporated. Next, let's add a lemon zest, equivalent to a teaspoon. Also, let's add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Followed by 1 tablespoon of lemon juice, fresh squeeze. Straining the custard mixture will help remove any bits of calaza and any remaining air bubbles for a smoother flan texture. Remember to pour slowly to avoid violent splashes that could form bubbles in your custard. Cover the pan with foil. Carefully pour the hot water into the bigger baking pan until it reaches halfway up the sides of the pan. Also, I preheated the oven to 350 degrees. Bake the leche flan for about 30 to 45 minutes. Make sure to not overcook until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. And after 30 to 45 minutes, cool the flan completely and chill in the refrigerator for a couple hours. Then, run a knife around the edge of the flan to loosen it before inverting into onto serving plate. This Filipino leche flan or cream caramel is varied and rich with history. Many foods that were adopted and later became Filipino cuisine were heavily influenced by Spain, China, and America. Tips to a creamy and smooth leche flan This leche flan was baked in the oven in a water bath instead of steam. Second, 
Try not to beat too fast to avoid adding air to the egg milk mixture. This will become bubbles that will form holes in the custard once cooked. Third, when making the caramel, make sure that all the sugar has completely melted, not gritty. Hmm, looking back in the history of Valentine's Day is actually dark and bloody. I wonder what would life be like without St. Valentine's Day? Or do we really need a special location to remind each other how much we love and care with each other? Love is simple. It's everything that exists when the heart is open. When the heart is open, there is tenderness, kindness, compassion, tolerance, and acceptance. And when the heart is closed, there is isn't. Three things will last forever. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of all this is love. That is Cooking Simply Delicious. Thank you for watching. For more cooking and simply delicious recipes, don't forget to subscribe. Till next time.